liar. Peace, everyone. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hold on, y'all. I'm looking for my lighter. <laughs> I'm looking for my lighter. Peace. Hey, boo. Hey. <laughs> peace, everyone. Peace, peace, peace. I'm back home. Hey, beloved. Hey. So when that country girl. Hey, y'all. Hey. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Peace. Greetings. 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 I say. They loud. So they right here. So y'all, if they get a little loud, I don't know. Y'all should be used, used to them by now. <laughs> Should be used to them by now. I've been drawn to frankincense a lot lately. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Hi. I'm glad that you called me live too. I am glad. Let's get this together. Shay. All right, y'all. How your weekend? How's your Saturday? How's your Saturday going? Let me put this cash app down here. If you would like a reading today, um, my cash app is pinned at the bottom. You can make a donation. There is no sit, okay, um, time frame. There's no set, I mean set amount, I'm sorry. There's no set amount on um, the donation, but you are willing. If you are willing and able, go ahead and make a donation. I do tend to do the readings for my babies that are have donated first. And then I try to go to everyone else. There's no set donation. You can donate anything from $5 to $55. It don't matter. Um, whatever you feel that you your heart leads you. Look, wherever the spirit leads you. <laughs> As they say in the church. Um, Saturday has been amazing. It's been good. Like, my brain is on 100 right now. It is a lot of things that I'm cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> As they say. It's a lot of things that I'm thinking about doing. Um, and building uh, or whatnot. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Peace, beloved. So, that is the thing, you know, that I'm looking at right now. That is the thing that I'm looking at right now. If you would like a reading, once again, put your name in the question mark box. And as soon as I go through my little spiel, my little soapbox moment, I'll um, start doing pulling cards. But the question mark box is beside the comment box at the bottom of the screen. Also, at the bottom of the screen is my cash app, which is... Uh, dollar sign Tamara Chanel when it comes up it should say she is magic um or Tamara Chanel okay so that's what it is put your name in the question mark especially if you definitely um and whatever your cash app was so I will make sure that I can see it and I don't want to skip anyone if you know that you paid by the time I would end this whole thing please inbox comment do something so I can recognize like oh shit let me let me pull these cards real quick buddy all right um hold on i don't know why all of a sudden it's loud it is loud look courtney make sure that you put your um uh name in the uh the question mark box for me beloved okay um hold on let me look in here real quick shay loving me okay april nicole okay so i'm probably only gonna do five let me see well, I'm gonna do as many as I can do. Let me let me say that. Um, 
Let me pull something and see where they want me to go. Got my mind on a whole lot of different things right now, so I feel like I needed to get a little tunnel, tunnel, a little tunnel vision. <laughs> well, Courtney's like, look, I don't send mine. I got you, too. I appreciate y'all. Any offering is a good offering. I appreciate y'all. Um, all right. I think I know where I'm going. This is a thing that I've been paying attention to, and I've, I've kind of jumped on this topic briefly um, before. A lot of times when I pull up the worth card in our readings, um, <laughs> it's always a reminder that we need to operate in our own self-love. But in particular, we need to operate in our own um, sense of worth. What I've been paying attention to specifically in our community, um, when I talk about our community, I'm specifically speaking about my melanated <laughs> babies. Um, we have a lack of value, okay? There's a lack of that sense of value, how valuable we are. This is why like a lot of times I'll see somebody open up a business, specifically black owned businesses, and um, they'll underprice their product especially artists um especially um my artists that have like a, an amazing product they will, will underprice undervalue who we are because in our mind we don't have the right to ask for the price okay and there's a lot of different dynamics to go into there but i ain't that's a whole nother platform so i ain't even getting ready to get on, on that topic um, but what I'm seeing specifically when I'm coming into like counseling and I'm doing certain healing work is that it doesn't skip anyone, our men, our women, there is a lot going on where there is something that was missed. Okay. Something that was missed. Something got missed. Okay. And that kind of creates a problem because now we are raising children who don't know how to love themselves they don't know how to show themselves the adequate amount of love because they don't know what that looks like so in our mind we think and we loving them from a certain perspective but we're missing certain dynamics because they're growing up not understanding how to stand into in their value they're allowing people to do certain things to them because they don't value themselves. They don't feel that they are worthy of more than what they are getting. They are going back to what I was talking about this morning, putting a ceiling on their potential. They don't realize that they are gods and goddesses and walking in the flesh. That's a problem. And it's not just our babies, but it's really us as well. We don't realize our full capability, our full potential. We don't realize that we are, you know, this energy walking in the flesh. So we got to be real mindful, y'all, about what are we doing on a daily basis to put this, this value system in place. Especially our people. I get it. We come from a whole nother dynamic. You know, we are, uh, as they say, the lost tribe. Okay, so I get it. We've been taught that our existence started with slavery. Not as kings and queens, not as the beginning of civilization, not as the people who brought real technology to the world. Let's keep it real. Not as the, the originators of yoga. <laughs> we did that shit. That was our shit meditation all the different types of stuff okay y'all give me one second hold on go upstairs take it upstairs take it upstairs yes Okay, y'all. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I was getting distracted. I'm like, uh-uh, y'all making way too much noise. All right. Um, overall, I just want us to do better. Make sure that you are instilling, wrapping this up. I want y'all to make sure that y'all are implementing and instilling value systems, not only for yourself, but for these babies. Because we do have to figure out if we are the generational curse breakers, what are we putting in place to break the curse? Breaking a curse is all about what? <laughs> it's about information, empowering yourself with knowledge. So the more that we know, the better we are equipped to break these curses. The more that we know, the better we are at making sure our children don't repeat a certain cycle. So this is the time frame that I need <laughs> for everyone to operate in a sense of how do I value myself? It's, we've been taught that, oh, you you asking for too much. No, you're not. Don't let them fool you into lowering your standards. Don't let them hoodwink you into some bullshit. <laughs> That's not what we're doing. Keep your standards high. Make people raise up and rise up to the standards. My women, listen to me when I tell you this. The reason that y'all getting these fuck boys, I hope y'all ain't got y'all babies listening to me. I always a cuss and then say, don't have your babies listening. <laughs> the reason you getting them is what? You not even raising your standards. You not holding your standards high. You are allowing these situations to happen. You're allowing these dynamics to unfold. So you gonna keep getting them because we're not raising the standards and holding the bar where it's supposed to be at. I don't care if you're going to be single for three more years. Damn it. Be single for three more damn years. Make them rise the F up <laughs> to the standard. There is a reason that it was put in your spirit, in your heart, that this man is capable of doing a certain dynamic. Why? Because they are. They are walking gods. They, are, they ain't got no roof. That's how you need to handle the situation, boo. You ain't got no roof. <laughs> you ain't got no roof. But also make sure that you are holding yourself to the same accountability. So when I say this, my, my beautiful, my beautiful, beautiful guys that's in here, my beautiful men that are in here, don't feel like I'm picking on y'all either. Because please believe, I'm telling y'all too, hold their ass to a standard. She, I don't care that she got a cute face. I don't care that she got dimples. I don't care what she talking about. I don't care she dress cute. Her shape bad as hell. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You need to know what that mind look like. Can she be a co-partner? Can she help you build an empire? If she gonna be a stay at home and you sitting there taking care of stuff, is she the one that's gonna be flipping them coins for you while you bringing them in? You see what I'm saying? Is she the one that's supposed to be teaching your nation that you build it? <laughs> okay, because you, you need to hold her to a standard. So the same way that I tell my sisters, my goddesses, to hold these dudes to a standard, hold them accountable. My man, you need to do the same damn stuff. Do I have somebody that is capable of building with me or are they taken away? Because if she's taken away, that is not her. You should know that from the gate. She taken away from what you need? Uh-uh. She spending your paycheck quicker than you can make it? Uh-uh. She more concerned about some get, get some new shoes than y'all building into y'all future? Not to say that you can't buy her some new shoes. Let me be clear because I like shoes. I'm just saying, <laughs> look, but if you know that you are in a building space, if y'all come together and you know you building, then they need to be a co-partner. You need to know that your mate is spiritually Sam. So the way I even tell like my women, boom, you should be covering him. Every time you sit at your altar, I'm covering him. Every time that I'm pouring love into myself, <laughs> I'm going to be pouring love into him as well. If I'm lighting a candle for myself, trust and believe I'm lighting a candle for his ass too. 
But the same thing go for my men. If you out here and you doing your spiritual work, brothers, make sure you, that you you making sure she covered too. That you got her back too. Okay? Be able to work in each, like your own power for each other. Okay? Work in your power for each other. So when you combine, y'all like the Wonder Twins. You supposed to be like the Wonder Ten Twins. Come in like powers unite all that shit. Y'all supposed to be amazing. All right? None of the other stuff. The surface stuff don't matter. Girl, look, sis, he and me fine as hell. Smelling good, looking good. But what substance do he have? Are you able to build with him? Let's say you ain't got to build. Let's say he already got his stuff together and you just coming to be a helpmate. Make sure that he still know how to build with you. He still knows how to respect you. He's still in, in alignment with your core values. And then I'm going to leave. I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave the rest of this alone because I ain't going to get on here too long because I want to get these readings done. Make sure not only are y'all in alignment with y'all core values and y'all have those conversations. That's the biggest part. We ain't having enough conversations. We ain't having enough conversations. But the most important part Quit damn going by these damn clear ass people rules and regulations on how to run an African centered home. Okay. Our ancient comedic ways ain't like they stuff. And that's not me telling y'all to go out here and be in no polygamous shit because I'm not going to be signing up for that cause. I'm not on that boat. I'm not. I don't. Mm -mm. I know already that. Mm -mm. I'd be like, I didn't, I wasn't part of that empire. That wasn't part of my empire. That wasn't in my DNA. So I can't, I can't rock with that one right there. But if that's your thing, because that still come from my people too. If that's your thing and you can handle it and you know your emotions is in check. I ain't got there yet. I ain't elevated to that part yet. My emotions ain't in check. I promise I will have everybody buried in the backyard. I'm just saying. <laughs> the whole damn ha it ain't gonna work for me but it might work for you my whole thing is study research okay research what's going to work for you make sure that you're following your own traditions your own way of life the things that we hold as a necessity we our people has all we're always about community we have always been about community we have always been about teamwork we have always been about building into the family first. We ain't never been on that independent shit that they've been selling y'all. This is why a lot of y'all still single. It's because they've been selling us on being independent. They've been selling you on, you don't need that man. You good by yourself, girl. You can do it by yourself. No, you do need him. It's just like yin and yang. There is a divine order and a divine balance. Let's be clear. <laughs> Same way with my brothers. You be feeling like, well, I'm going to get her when I get to this point. No, you do need her. She is an intricate part to you building what it is that you're looking for. <laughs> she is a, she's a very intricate part in building what it is that you are striving to build. Okay. She is the balance. There is a reason why it's called the divine feminine and divine masculine. Just your partner in general, because it's not even about the actual gender, but it's still about the energy. So you still got to represent an energy that is going to be the divine feminine and the divine masculine. And both of those energies have to come together in order to create a third dynamic. This power, this energy that will manifest what you need to manifest. Okay. So that's all. I'm going to get off my soapbox now. Because I'll be on here for about two more hours. And I ain't fooling with y'all tonight. I ain't doing it. <laughs> I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. Be very mindful. Um, I do want my women to like. You know, I, I've been on y'all hard. 
because I feel like there was a war specifically. I'm going to say this, and I promise I'm going to get off on, off of this topic. We got to understand that we we are at war. Okay, be, let's be clear. Y'all know that's my word. Let's be clear. We are at war, okay? And because we are at war, you got to know how to play chess. Please understand we are the most valuable piece okay, to destroying this, this dynamic. We're going to say that. We are the most valuable piece. So soon as they separated us, then they fed us a certain ideology, then they elevated us where we felt like we didn't need our men, where we were taken out of the home, so now we're not teaching our children. We're allowing their system to teach our children what we should be teaching them to make sure that they know and are raised with a certain sense of morals, a sense of principle, a sense of who they are, okay? We are at war. If you study war, what is the first thing that they're going to do? <laughs> okay? They're going to attack systems. And the first system that they're going to attack is the women. The women is a very, very, we are very divinely created. <laughs> Let me say that. We are a necessity to making sure that our community is on a certain level. If we are not in alignment, that's why I tell y'all all the time, I love, I love, I love my men. But please understand there is a reason that I focus on the women. There's a reason. Because I know that our healing in our community cannot happen if we are not healed. If we're not walking in our queendom, if we're not walking in our goddess energy, if we're not walking in our own power, this shit will go to hell. <laughs> Everything will crumble. And you already seeing it. This is why our children are acting the way they're acting right now, okay? And that's why ancestors, the real ancestors are starting to be birthed through our wombs because they like, oh, y'all done, y'all done effed up. <laughs> we done set you in a position to do what it is that you're supposed to do and you done effed up. Y'all done threw the whole damn ball away. <laughs> So it is a time, this is why there's a shift in energy. This is the time for you to really own your divine feminine self. Understand what the divine feminine is all about, okay? For my men, this is not just about us. You need to understand what the divine feminine is really about. How can I encourage that? How can I make sure that I'm creating the environment that my queen feels comfortable in operating in her divine feminine self? That's so key. I need for y'all to hear me. My men, you have to be masters at creating the environment that she's willing to be vulnerable. Because what we have been taught is that it's not okay for us to be in our divine feminine self. That is a sign of weakness. Little do we know that is the, that's our strength. That's our superpower. There's a reason that we were giving naturally that gift of operating in our divine feminine self. We were naturally given that. We were naturally born into that. <laughs> we are connected to the women in our particular lineage. And we are the only ones that can pass that shit over. I have the energy and the DNA, not only from my mother, but from my grandmother and her mother and her mother. And I'm the only one that can transfer that shit on. <laughs> so if you don't really understand how, necess how necessary you are, <laughs> how necessary you are, you're going to miss out. And you're going to have to come back to this motherfucker all over again. Okay. I had to end it on a negative word, didn't I? I just had to. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> You're going to have to come back and repeat this lesson all over the damn again. Be in a space, beloveds, that men, my kings, my gods, I really need y'all to be in a space where y'all are creating the environment. I need y'all to get back to walking in your divine masculine. There is a reason they got this whole ideal of toxic masculinity. No, there's no such thing as toxic masculinity. That's some bullshit they be trying to feed y'all. So they telling y'all not to operate in your true self. There's a reason that you speak passionately. There's a reason that you got a certain tone in your voice that make kids sit their ass down. <laughs> Okay, there's a reason that you are who you are. Own that shit. Be all of that. Know your part. Know your role. Because if you are walking in your energy, it is way more easier for me to walk in mine. I can do it without even them opening my eyes. Because I naturally am the divine feminine. Okay? All right, y'all. I'm off the soapbox now. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Let's get into these readings. Good Lord. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let me start. Let's go to loving me first. Hold on before I do that. Yeah. Loving me first. All right. Let's do you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. African warrior fitness about to start like a, a black man's corner. Cause I always get people asking me. So I've been building with him about, um, starting to do like an actual page that is going to be specifically gearing to like really raising the vibration of our men, really teaching our men the things that they need to learn, the things they need to pay attention to, operating in your healing, knowing it's okay and it's a necessity for you to operate in your healing because if you don't, <laughs> we are not going to be able to do the magic that we can do. Okay? Because women out here, they doing the work. I ain't negating, saying that the men ain't, but I see way more women doing the work way more so i need my men to get on it so we um have been talking about that so y'all make sure y'all follow that brother all right i say i say this is for loving me first i ain't see you pop in here yes them triggers boo but I'm going to still read you for you. Woo! Uh-uh. We ain't doing them type of readings today. <laughs> y'all better get y'all energy right. Don't be having me out here pulling, trying to pull 500 cards because you're trying to get a whole life reading. You can book a real life reading. <laughs> you can pick... You can book a real reading if you want a full reading via the website. It's under consultations. All right. Okay, boo. Your first card that came out, loving me first, is trust the process. This is the ace of win. The ace of win is, hold on, y'all, because I feel like my screen done got real interesting because I'm burning all this smoke. <laughs> um, the ace of win is about trusting the process. Okay, this is a time frame where y'all been hearing me say this all week. The universe got their foot on your neck. They wanting you to learn things and lessons from your past. Okay, there's some things that you either haven't healed from in your past or they're getting ready to surface. Some dynamics coming up from the past. Some things even might be your past self. But they're saying we're doing this for a reason. We need for you to heal this. We need you to go ahead and resolve this. So you can become who you're supposed to become. You see, it's a butterfly centered. She's being centered in the cocoon. And the cocoon is starting to unravel. But all she's focused on is being centered in her higher self. 
okay? Grounding. Trusting the process. Knowing that once this cocoon opens, which means once the pressure is starting to release, you know, once you are learning the lessons that you're supposed to learn, you're going to be who you're supposed to be. You're going to evolve the way, exactly the way that you are supposed to evolve. You have the strength card coming up. So everything, and listen to me when I say everything that you have experienced made you the person that you are today, made you be prepared for what you have coming in the future. They have made you into the amazing spirit that you are, beloved. So be thankful that they built this character into you. That now that you have the strength and the wisdom to move forward. And it's all because your past. All right? No one could handle what you could handle. There's a reason you went through this. So you could be strong and be prepared. You have a, a, a very divine purpose, beloved. So whatever it is, I stay putting the card upside down. <laughs> whatever your, your purpose is, I need you to stay on track, stay on your mission, stay focused. When these obstacles are popping up, know how to handle them. Be very creative. Use everything that you've learned before now in order for you to, to stay true to the path. Use them. Those tools were there for a reason. All of these lessons are helping us build up our toolbox. <laughs> so when we have these lessons that come in our life, that's, that's making your handy dandy toolbox real special. So you can be prepared for the journey. Okay? So you can be prepared for the journey. Your bottom of the deck is um, meditation. So all things can be accomplished through meditation. All right, through meditation. It's going to be the real key to help you keep centered, to keep grounded, to see what it is that you're supposed to see. Um, I'm seeing like um, visions or <clears throat> certain dynamics that are going to come through through your meditation. There's going to be a lot of things you're going to be able to accomplish. Um, all your alchemy is going to happen through your meditation. All right. So visualization will probably be really key for you and what it is that you're supposed to be manifesting. All right. Your crystal card is this move and it says, are you in touch with your creative intelligence? Are you willing to look at life with a fresh perspective? <laughs> Use the symbols of geometry to help create pathways for developing the mental body. Take one step at a time, knowing that answers will be revealed to you as soon as you work systematically and methodically all right athena is the actual goddess on the back of this card it says i realize my fullest potential spiritually mentally emotionally and physically i see the patterns in my life and i follow the course toward higher knowledge i approach life creatively by thinking outside of the norm a rainbow of light and positive energy expands my consciousness look beloved they really they on your neck right now <laughs> They know that you are an amazing spirit and you have a divine purpose. Peace, beloved. So you need to make sure that you're walking in it, that you're owning it, that you are knowing exactly what it is that you're supposed to be doing. There's one line in particular that says, I approach life creatively by thinking outside of the norm. The two cards that that really um, resonates with that particular statement, meditation and this path. What did I say about being on your journey? There are going to be some obstacles that are going to come up. There's going to be some stuff that's going to trigger or try you. Be very creative on how you are getting around it. Okay. Be very creative on how you navigate. This is going to require you to operate from a higher perspective. All right. But you definitely got a mission and you have to walk your talk. <laughs> be very true and authentic to who you are. Don't second guess or sacrifice that for anyone. There's going to be a moment where you're going to have to get off the fence, beloved. You're going to have some choices and decisions and you're going to come to them crossroads. And when you come to them crossroads, it's going to require you to say, are you really going to go down this path? Are you really on this journey? Are you really walking your walk? Or are you going to still BS? Okay. 
And the goal is to say that you're not going to BS no more. That you know that the guardians is walking with you. All right. Ashe. Ashe. Mm -hmm. um, Courtney. La Courtney Hay. I think La Courtney. I hope I'm saying your name right. Yeah. Ain't no going back now loving me. Ain't no going back. Ain't no turning around. Because we don't open the doors. I'm going to send you some energy. Because they ready for you now. All right. They ready for you. Not you yet. Not yet, Shea Baby. Not yet. I got uh, Ebony Shea. I'll do you right after La Courtney. La Courtney. Yeah. La Courtney was first. Okay. La Courtney was first. No. <laughs> Shay, you right after this. <laughs> Not yet. You right after uh, Courtney. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> she like, I'm ready. I'm ready. I missed it. I missed it. No, you ain't missed it. At least you ready. That baby said, I'm ready. I'm ready. Courtney, um, I'm feeling like this is probably going to be more relationship based um, just from the cards. I don't know if this is an intimate relationship or if this is just a, a friendship, but something has created an energy where you've been torn and you're at battle or you're at conflict with something. There's something that's bringing up um, the energy um, where there has been some uh, some chaos and confusion, some dynamics that have been making you feel like... Um, I'm not sure what this is, what this energy is, or I'm not sure where this situation is going, or I'm not sure if this person is genuine. Um, whatever the energy that's coming up, this battle card is saying like, look, some chaos and confusion is making you feel a little off. It's throwing you off. It's throwing your vibration off. Okay. It's throwing you off a little bit and we don't like being thrown off. We don't. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I don't know that they hear you. Your aunt temperance is coming up. Know that the ancestors, they hear you. They heard every last one of your prayers. Every time you speak of something into the universe, they hear it. And they were like, we got you. Your, 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 your spirit guys is working on it. You see in the picture where they're like pouring the water in and fertilizing the ground. Okay. So they're making sure that they're pulling all the dynamics together. That is going to bring in alignment what it is that you're asking for. But you have to learn how to be patient. All right. Be very patient on what it is that you're asking for. Exhibit patience. And while you're operating in your patience, this is a time to just build on yourself. All right. The love card comes up. And the love card is always about making sure that you're operating in your own self-love first. Everything that you're asking for, everything that you want to bring in, it got to come from your own self-love first. It got to come from how am I showing my self-love? Because if you're showing your self-love, and this is almost like what we just talked about in the beginning of this video. When you're operating in your own self-love, your own value, <laughs> to the point that it is undeniable because you glowing. It's something different when you loving on yourself. Listen, it's something different. I tell y'all this all the time. Your choices is different. There's a lot of stuff you don't even entertain. It's a lot of stuff that you don't even let come and disrupt your peace and your harmony. And in order for you to receive what it is that you're asking for, what the universe is trying to prepare for you because they preparing something amazing for you more than what even that you're asking for. Like what you asking for, you feel like it's enough, but they got something even better for you. <laughs> they got something better than what you asking for. 
but you have to operate on the frequency that they're trying to give it to you on. It's almost like graduating. So like think about yourself going through school. When we go through school, the whole purpose is to graduate, right? And then when we graduate, in our mind, we're going to get this amazing gift, this amazing opportunity. Same dynamic. We have to treat ourselves like that. I'm working on myself. I'm doing the work. I'm doing the healing. I'm actually loving myself every day. And not just that surface love, that superficial shit, that unconditional love. Okay, that kind where you be like, if you had a newborn baby, that type of love. And I know all my mamas and daddies, y'all know when you get that new baby and they got the new baby smell and you just be loving on them. We don't want nobody to touch the baby. <laughs> Did you wash your hands? I'm going to need you to put some hand sanitizer. We don't want nobody breathing on the baby. You got to treat yourself like that. Treat yourself like you the newborn baby. Take that extra time to make sure that you clean. Go through a whole ritual. Take that extra step to put on your favorite dress. Take the extra time to love on yourself. To take yourself out to lunch. To buy yourself some flowers. To do the things that you will want. Whatever that may be. Treat yourself to a massage. Whatever those things are that you will want from a, a, a partner. Do it for yourself first. Because then you're putting yourself on the frequency that I'm used to receiving this type of love and affection. So when he comes in or she comes in to give you that love and affection, you already prepared because you've been doing it for yourself. You're on the frequency already. It is going to be some, whatever this dynamic that's going on in the present day situation, it's, it's creating some intense emotions. Okay. I'm going to even go a step further. You are a giver. And you're giving way too much of yourself. You're giving way too much of yourself. You're giving so much of yourself that your cup is empty. You can't keep doing that. That's not going to work. And you getting the hangman at the bottom of this deck. And it's like, see, set. Stop that shit. <laughs> That's when the ratchet girl come out. Stop that shit. <laughs> Okay, it's telling you to stop. Quit pouring into people because they're not reciprocating that energy back to you. And now you frustrated and now you are overworked and now you are tired and you are depleted and you feeling like you in chaos and confusion. You done create an internal battle. You done create, created a whole nother. No. Stop that. Cease. Look, send them a cease and desist letter. <laughs> uh uh. I'm not doing that. You need to take time to fill up your cup. This is a time for you to nurture yourself. Fill up your own cup. Pour into yourself. All right. Pour into yourself. All right. And then if you decide you want to give. You see how this cup, this ace of water, the cup was overflowing. If you decide that you want to give from the droplets that come on, on the, not even on the saucer, the kind that just splash off the saucer. If you decide you want to give from your overflow, then do it. But if it ain't coming from your overflow, eh, eh, you can't do it no more. This is a time frame where you need to be real selfish. Okay. It's a time frame to be real selfish. Um, let me do a crystal card for you. Boo. Nope. I'm going to do a goddess card for you. This is a time to be selfish, baby. Time to be selfish. Don't worry about it. Um, I would even suggest, I don't even know what your goddess card is going to say, but I would even suggest going in hermit mode. Y'all know I love going into a, <laughs> being a hermit. Mm. Ooh, I might need to pull the book out. It says... Um, cycles and rhythms honor the cycles of your body energy levels and emotions all right let's read it i feel like we about we all about to get a, a good little lesson out of this one <laughs> 
All of life is, all of life has cycles. The moon, the stars, and the universe. Life inhales and it exhales again. So why should you be surprised or upset that you have cycles too? <laughs> There are times when you feel energized. There are times that you're going to feel awake and alive. There are other times when you feel isolated and shy. Your body, too, goes through pronounced cycles and changes. Celebrate these rhythms and embrace them as the essence of the blood that runs through you. Mm. This says make time to rest initiate steps to alleviate depression or hold on mm. it says hold on i want to go back because y'all know i'll read something and then my mind be racing it says initiate steps to alleviate depression or emotional crisis allow yourself the time to grieve or take time off Know that this love won't last forever. A doorway of opportunity has opened up and you need to walk through it. So the universe already, you know what your situation is. I don't know fully what your situation is because I don't be wanting to put people's business out here. But you know what your situation is. Make sure you love on yourself. Put a stop to everything. Don't take on that. Give, I'm, I was about to say another word. Give people their their bag back. Tell them you don't have no vacancies and no room for their BS. Give them their bag back and love on yourself. Okay. Ashe. Ashe. <laughs> okay. Kim, what's going on? Hold on. You're going to have to inbox me. Um, Shay. Let's go, Shay. Let's do you. Shay, and then we're going to do April Nicole. And I might have to come back on here and outlaw. Okay. Let's do Shay first, though. Let me see what time we're looking like. Yeah, let's do Shay first. I might be good. I say. Okay, baby. Shay says she been ready. She been ready for her reading. <laughs> I say. I say. You got it, Courtney. You really got it. It's hard. Women, we are naturally nurturers sometimes. Some of us, not all of us. So sometimes it'd be hard, especially if you are operating under a certain um, zodiac sign. We be just giving, giving, giving until like we end up giving all ourselves away. But you got to set the boundaries. They up there fussing about somebody up there fussing. Oh, you a Pisces, yes. Y'all stay giving, and not only do you stay giving, but y'all always romanticizing shit. Y'all be living in an alternate universe. You be like, dang, this ain't how it really is. Y'all see differently. Y'all see differently. That's a good thing, though. We need y'all. I'm a Pisces moon, so they need us people like us all right meditation boo meditation you another one your power is being able to visualize to see things to manifest things through your visual especially because you are pisces being able to manifest things from the visual perspective dreaming it into existence so your thing really should be i didn't get into this with anybody else for whatever reason this is your message you're really your thing is going to be um your superpower is the dream world. And when I say dream world, I'm not talking about just when you go to sleep, not just the astral aspect. I'm also talking about meditation. I'm talking about visualizations. I'm talking about anything where it requires you to disconnect. 
because it's real easy for you to disconnect from this reality and visualize and see it. Like I just said, y'all see it in a different perspective. So you can create what it is that you want in this physical existence, but your power is going to be through meditation. So if you have not been connecting via meditation or sitting still or doing the things that you need to do in that energy, you need to do it. Okay, this is a great time for you to step into that. Baba, wind is coming up. There's two dynamics with this, okay? So Baba Wind is a really interesting card because it normally represents something that might be where you're feeling like you weren't treated fairly. Um, specifically in this moment right now, something has come up where um, it might require like a judge. It might be some legal issues you might be going through or something that you might be thinking about going through a legal process. That, that situation will come out fair. It will come out just. It will come out balanced. So you got to be in a space where you are saying, this is a time frame, okay? This is a time frame that I need to trust that the universe got me, number one. And number two, all things will work out in my favor, number two, okay? All things will work out in your favor. Don't worry about it. So Shay, um, Hermit <laughs> is coming up. So y'all know this is my favorite card. You're going to have to put your blinders on. <laughs> put your blinders on. Get in a space where you are so tunnel vision on what it is that you have to accomplish, what it is that you need to be doing for yourself in particular, yourself in particular, working on your own personal healing, that you're not worried about what nobody else is doing. You're not being distracted about nobody else's stuff, Okay. You got the ugly cry. Don't do the ugly cry. <laughs> okay. You need to separate. Like there's a lot of energy and a lot of distractions that I feel like are coming up and going around you. But this is not the time to get caught up in the distractions. This is your time to focus on what it is that you're supposed to be doing for yourself. Because you got a destination to reach. You can't worry about nobody else. You got to isolate yourself. Isolate the, the energy. Okay. But know that all is going to work out in your favor. But you got to use your superpower. Use your superpower. Use your gift. You have a lot of them that you ain't really tapping into the way you should. Okay. I ain't going to get in mama bear mode. You lucky because I don't know. I don't know. You ain't gonna get, I ain't going to get in the mama bear mode. All right, Shay. So your uh, stone is the blue gold stone okay blue gold stone it says are you ready to be healthy whole and complete do you feel the healing vibration within you you have the capacity to heal any challenges or sickness that appear within you or in your surroundings set your intentions to strive towards enlightenment to be free from darkness and ignorance so sickness is not just physically being sick Sickness could be an emotional thing, a mental thing. It could be the energy of people that are creating some, some negative vibrations in your, your, your situation. All right. So let's be real clear. It says set your intention to strive towards enlightenment, to be free from darkness and ignorance. All right. I want you to really, really digest that. Um, Medicine Buddha is the actual saint. On the back of the card. And it says. In the company of others. I am a healing presence. Peaceful blue vibrations are comforting and calming. I have compassion for myself. And all living beings. I am divinely protected. And I emanate feelings of safety. I release attachments. And align myself with love. So release. Any fear. Any negative behavior. Any negativity that is around you. Make sure that you are operating in your healing presence, your healing energy, who you naturally are supposed to be. I am striving my best not to fuss at you. <laughs> okay, this is for Shea Butter. This is for Shea Butter, y'all. Shea Butter, baby. Um, I'm trying my best not to, to fuss at you. Um, but you, I, I'm going to say this one more time. Okay. Shea, Shea Butter Baby. This is for her. Listen. 
You have some powers and abilities in you. I need you to tap into them. I need you to start meditating on a regular basis. I don't care if it's just for five minutes. I need you to like, not just do a basic meditation. I need you to start playing with how you are connecting with your body and understanding the energies that's around your body, how to manipulate those energies. Okay. So I would definitely suggest that you look into like astral projection, astral travel, um, visualization techniques. All right. Everything that's dealing with that metaphysical energy, because that metaphysical energy is going to be very um, instrumental moving forward. Okay. It's going to be very instrumental moving forward for you. All right. All right. Whew. That's all I got for you, boo. <laughs> I say. <laughs> um, I say. You got it. I hope you have an altar, Shay. I, I really want um, to press upon everyone that's in here that if you don't have an altar or some sort of sacred space, please create some sort of sacred space just so you can remember who you are, what it is that you're supposed to be doing, how you're supposed to be walking in your gift because it's really important um, in order for you to truly understand who you are, why you came here, what's unique to your purpose. All right. I'm going to read up. Where is it? All right. Now it's April Nicole turn. <laughs> All right, April. April Nicole. Every time I see your name, you make me think. I have a, a really, one of my best friends. Her name is April. That's my baby. I got to actually call her tomorrow. See what she doing. Nicole, I ain't seen her in a while. I ain't seen her in a while. Let me see where we at on time. Okay, hopefully this don't cut me off. April Nicole. If it does, I will come back. I know for sure I got April Nicole. I got um Outlaw. And I want to get to Andre and Bittersweet. Those are, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to get everybody. She is. She's so dope. She's so dope. <laughs> she's one of my dopest friends. She really is one of my dopest friends. Yeah, a lot of dual energy popping off over here. Okay. We're going to pick two. Pick two. Pick two. <laughs> the first card that comes up is the Ace of Water card, beloved. That Ace of Water card is all about what I just told. Like an extreme emotional attempt. Um, extreme emotions when it comes to past situations. Things that maybe have been popping up recently things that's been triggering you um stuff that you should really probably be paying attention to because it's like triggering you in a very emotional way um make sure that you don't fall back into old patterns or to comfort zones okay these emotional triggers that are happening are there to test you and because we are in a very interesting retrograde, you want to pay attention to how these tests are manifesting or coming up in your cycle, okay? There are going to be some things specifically connected to your past that's going to come up and it's going to trigger the hell out you. You're going to be like, ah, darn. You're going to be feeling like crying, feeling like a lot of high emotion. I knew it was about to cut me off. Okay, let me log off and I'm going to come back on and that way I can get into your reading the way I want to. All right. 